Lapland has consistently ranked as the top winter travel destination in the world. Located in the heart of the Arctic Circle, it is home to the original Santa Claus Village, a hotel made completely out of ice, glass igloos underneath the northern lights, and even this. Alright, here we go. Woo! So after traveling 18 hours from the US and landing in Helsinki, we are ready to begin this epic adventure and find out if this place lives up to the hype. First up, we are going to travel to Lapland in style. It is currently 7 p.m. Our train leaves in about 30 minutes and we have almost exactly 12 hours on board. So we should be arriving at our destination tomorrow morning, 7.30 in the morning. After loading up on a bunch of snacks for the trip, we headed to the train station. Our train just got here, buddy. Getting our first look at the train right here. The Santa Claus Express. This car is sleeper cars on top and bottom and is just beautiful. Let's go get on board. This is not going to Rovium. This is the wrong train. Oop, that's a big gap. Oh, let's go see it. Wow! The room is small, but it is mighty. <laughs> the train left right on time. I thought we had way more time than we did. Right when we got all our stuff on, we're already moving. There are two different types of cabins on this train, economy and sleeper. And then with the sleeper room, you can either choose to have a bathroom or not. So our room has two bunks, a top bunk and a bottom bunk. They gave us a bottle of water and towels when we arrived. There are pillows, soft blankets. For whoever sleeps on the top, they have these straps so you don't fall off. That would be me. I move a lot in my sleep. All right, here is the bathroom. Once again, not super big. It has everything you need. Toilet, sink, toilet paper. Where is the shower? Oh. <laughs> and there's the shower back there. Water looks like it's gonna hit the top of this. There's some soap in here, some cups for drinking water. Over here, there's the teeniest, tiniest little desk. This is almost funny, like, you're not gonna be able to do anything on this desk, it's just way too small. And let's test out the bed. Oh, hit my elbow. Hit the funny bone, but the bed is actually pretty comfortable. Hey, Lennon. Good night. Do you like this bed? Can you say, moi moi? He just learned with our friends, Yeni and Mati, that moi moi means bye bye. And so he loves saying it. I'm having a real issue with the shoes on the bed. I'm freaking out. Okay, I think it is a perfect time to try out the meal car. They have a big menu here full of different Finnish foods. So let's go try it out. Ready, Lenin? Mom's gonna rest for a minute and we're gonna go try out some food. Let's go find the meal car. He's gained a new hobby. Good job. Oh, I think this is the dining car. Wow. All right, I know this is more Swedish than Finnish, but we have ordered meatballs with gravy, mashed potatoes, salad, and it comes with lingonberry sauce too. This is one of my favorite dishes in Scandinavia. So when I saw it on the menu, I had to get it because it's so good. Lennon's already going for the mashed potatoes. Are they good? <laughs> The first class ticket doesn't come with meals included. And this was 14 euros. Mm. That's bomb. Wow. Hi. We thought our door locked, but he got up and <laughs> ran outside. He's been getting up every night and getting out of bed and running around the room, so. I'm obviously gonna sleep on the floor now. Could be in for a long night. <laughs> switched out our normal jackets for all of our winter gear that we own because <laughs> look at Lennon <laughs> look at this we stepped into Santa's winter wonderland it's freezing but beautiful we picked up our rental car and drove to Santa's village where we have booked one of the famous northern lights glass igloos for the next two nights okay let's go have a look inside it's so cute 
Wow. Hello and welcome to our glass igloo here at Santa's Igloos in Rovianami, Finland. I really don't think I said that right. Right when you walk in is our foyer here. We've got some closet space, some little storage, most importantly for any hotel. Our slippers, very stoked on that. Look at Lennon in the background just cleaning the floor. Lennon. Good job, buddy. Right to your left, immediately to your left, you'll have our restroom. And right when you walk in, you'll see here it says enjoy fresh Arctic water. And that's because Finland is tied for the number one cleanest water in the world. So you just drink straight out of the tap. Yeah, that toilet, yeah, yeah. you got your shower, and it comes with a squeegee that Lennon has been demonstrating to you. Right after you walk through the foyer, we've got our main room. I think this is probably larger than most hotel rooms. We've got a double bed. I don't know if it's a European thing or what it is, but you each get your own blanket, own little duvet cover and these things are so freaking warm and then above me may or may not be real reindeer fur <laughs> <laughs> okay that's kind of sad it's so sad and then i wish you could feel it guys the floor is heated and for those of us with rain odds you just know that this is the greatest thing in the world how did you pass this up no because i can't talk about it what are they trying to do to us here there are reindeer chips in the room and a reindeer fur on our wall we're supposed to go see reindeer tomorrow this is it's sad heartbreaking the floor is not the only thing that's heated in this igloo the ceiling is also heated ready ready glass roof heating Why? Okay, what are the odds we see the Northern Lights tonight? I just looked at the map and it's not giving me, because I didn't pay for the professional one, like the pro version. So I don't get to know until it gets closer. What, like a couple hours? Yeah. You can drive to your igloo to drop off your luggage, but this is the more fun way to do it. We all laid down in bed and took the coziest nap of our life, huh buddy? It was so awesome being surrounded by all of the snow and having the cozy little igloo inside. And now it's dinner time. Yeah, let's go eat some food. This is the best way to go to dinner, huh? One, two, three! Whoa! <laughs> Bye, Mama. We love you. Bye, bye. He said bye. No, I'm oh. <laughs> I wanted to go. Bye. Bye. We just got to dinner. There's this beautiful restaurant here at the Igloos. Right when we ordered our food, Chloe got a great phone call. She booked a Northern Lights tour tonight with a company that has all the best tracking equipment to find them, knows exactly when they're gonna be out, where they're gonna be. He got a call and said it's perfect time right now, so he's coming to pick her up. The reason all three of us aren't going is because it goes late into the night. So she just left and Lennon and I are having some dinner. Lennon has some reindeer meatballs and fries. I've started with some crab cakes. For my main, I have a wild mushroom risotto with figs and crispy parmesan on top. Mm. This is a perfect cold day dinner. Warms you right up. And of course, you can't come to Finland and not get something with lingonberry. So we have ordered lingonberry cloud dessert. Raspberries, lingonberry mousse, and homemade oats. How is it? Did you try it? Lennon approved. We came back to our room and it says the Northern Lights are out right now. No way. We are seeing the Northern Lights for the first time right now. This is so cool. Wow, we are so lucky right now. The weather conditions have to be absolutely perfect. The sky has to be clear and there has to be little to no light. Even from where we are right now with light surrounding us, we're able to see them as well as we are. I can't even imagine what Chloe's seeing right now. This is one of the coolest things in my life. I 
I set two goals for myself this year. One is to work out six days a week. Second is to ice bath three times a week. It is currently negative 22 degrees Celsius out here. I'm gonna try and kill two of those birds with one stone. This could be a terrible idea. It actually isn't as bad out here as I thought it would be. Always feels good to shock the system in the morning. I'm glad I did that. It wasn't as bad as I thought. Nothing that wakes you up quite like putting your body through that. Good morning. <laughs> Breakfast. Breakfast. Beautiful breakfast buffet here, but the best part, aha, these waffles. We did it, Lennon. Those look so good. What the heck is on top of yours? Lingonberries. No, the white stuff. Cream. Cream and lingonberries. Okay, that's the way to go, bud. Honey, what are you doing? Hi. What you doing down there, honey? Warming up my hands. On the heated floor. Oh, it hurts so bad. Thank goodness for the heated floors. I love doggy. That's one way to stay warm. I don't gotta go. <laughs> Maybe the coolest part of this place is its location. We are located just a five minute walk away from Santa Claus's village. Oh. The only thing Lennon is absolutely refusing to do is wear gloves. And my little mom heart is just breaking right now. When we get inside, from being outside, his hands are just like beet red. So, any mom tips, I'll take them. Cause I got nothing short of duct taping his gloves on. Uh, I think we're gonna drive though because it's still five <gasps> degrees out here. Did you leave the window open? The window was left open. Oh my gosh, look at my drink I left in the car. Completely frozen. <laughs> <laughs> Here it is, Santa's village. Is it cold? Yeah, let's get inside. You know, this is where Santa lives. You wanna go see him? We got a lot of stuff to buy. What's in these tin cans? They're everywhere. Ready to eat canned brain deer? Huh? <laughs> Where's Santa Claus? There was only a picture of Santa. Santa's out feeding his reindeer right now. I thought this was a prop, but it's a real snowman. Whoa, you can touch it with your gloves, huh? Oh, good job, buddy. Cheese. Cheese. Dada. This is Santa's post office where you can send letters to Santa, you can receive letters from Santa, and you can ship off a postcard from yourself. That was cool. It was like last night. Exactly like that. Is that what you night. saw? Yeah. So more than 500,000 letters have come through here from 200 countries. Elves have read and granted 20 million wishes. There are countries like Saudi Arabia, Rwanda, Sri Lanka, Taiwan. This is the official, unofficial Arctic Circle <laughs> line right here. Let's step into the Arctic Circle. We did oh, it! You're on a webcam. Oh. Hello. Minus 18. <laughs> Up next, we are going on a reindeer ride. Real life reindeer. I think this is my first time ever seeing a reindeer. Oh, look at that, buddy. Oh, it's so beautiful. Here we go. <laughs> I'm licking my phone. <laughs> this is fun, huh? 
this right here is the reason the train is called Santa Claus Express. <laughs> it's freezing. It's freezing here, huh? Let's go get the snowman. Oh, get the snowman. <laughs> Good job. There's one more place at Santa's Village that I have been wanting to try for so long. It's called Santa's Salmon Place. They serve one thing here, salmon, and they make it well. <laughs> that looks so good. That is a sexy piece of salmon. This salmon was caught fresh, grilled over an open flame. Take the first bite. They didn't have any room inside the restaurant, which is why we're in the car. Okay, it's like very flaky. Oh. Do you, do you love it? Did he just do a chef's kiss? It came with a little side of potato salad and bread as well. Ooh. Is it safe to say it's the best salmon we've ever had? Best salmon we've ever had. Wow. And we've had a lot of good 10 out of 10. Oh my gosh. It's falling apart. Now that we've had our delicious salmon appetizer, we've come back to the hotel restaurant for our dinner. Oh, I was trying to make a heart. Just one last okay. Carrot soup with vanilla cream. That is so good. That's overwhelming. I'm doing lunch. Oh, it's amazing. And I'm sure Jordan feel the exact same way. We are so sad to be leaving this igloo. We've had so much fun here. And I gotta say, two nights minimum staying here, please. It is so worth it. Bye-bye. Oh, you say, moi moi, moi moi, moi moi, moi moi. When I travel, there are a few essential items I have with me no matter what. One of those is the Tessin Travel Adapter. It allows me to charge all of my equipment in more than 200 countries around the world. It's a universal adapter and has a different outlet for each region. You can see the EU, Australia, and the UK all labeled on the side here, and they pop out just as easy as that. It also comes with a universal socket to plug into, so no matter which country you are from, your electronics will plug right into it. There are two USB and two USB-C ports, making it super convenient to charge everything at once. I carry around a lot of camera equipment with me, so this universal adapter is a game changer. I typically have my laptop plugged in, as well as my cameras, drone, and more. The design of the adapter is sleek. It's light and small and fits right into any backpack pocket. Not to mention the charging is fast. You can get your phone to 60% in just 30 minutes. It comes with both a 65 watt and a 100 watt configuration for even faster charging. After being on the road full time for nearly six years, I can tell you this is a travel essential you need to have. Check out the link in the description for more. We are going to spend the next couple of hours on board journeying through the frozen Bothnian Sea here in Lapland in Sweden and later on even do this. Here we go. Woo! All right, we just got all checked in. Let's go get on board. Look at that ice. So this is the main floor of the cruise ship. There's this little gift shop here with tables to come hang out in and warm up. He's having fun already. So there's a little cafeteria here that serves salmon soup with hot bread on the side. I just learned this yesterday. There's a river in Finland that produces more wild salmon than any other river in the world. So that's why it's such a common dish here. That's also why it tastes so good. It's so fresh. Mm. That's really good. I love that he loves salmon so much. Look at this. We are just taking off right now. Look at these massive chunks of ice just breaking. Okay, this is really cool. frightening when you see the large sheets of glass, <laughs> the large sheets of ice breaking underneath this ship. Like, look at that. It's mesmerizing to watch, honestly. 
And here's what it looks like from the front of the ship. This is mind boggling. It's cutting through this ice like butter. We've just reached our destination. So the ship has stopped moving. It's almost time to go get ready, changed into our suits to get in the water. We've just arrived at our destination. Look at this. This is where we're about to swim. I kind of look like a Oompa Loompa. <laughs> Perfect day to be out cruising. Yeah, okay. I thought that this was the craziest I've ever looked. And it checks out. It's these. It's these that get me. When we have Lennon, we have to do these experiences alone. It's still fun. Yes, we'd love to do them together. But I will say, still so much fun. Yeah, no. Okay, there we go. All right, here we go. Woo! Woo! Oh my gosh. Just uh. laid back. This is, this is oddly relaxing. Just being completely weightless. Floating perfectly. And you really can't even feel the cold water at all. Now I need to jump from here. Whoa! <laughs> Oh, this is awesome. They said after jumping in the Nordic waters, you have to have a cup of glog, which is a hot berry juice. Oh, it's like their version of apple cider. It's cinnamony with berries. Really nice. Just walked off the ship onto the ice and I feel like now I can truly appreciate how massive these ice chunks are that this ship has been breaking through. Amazing. Oh, ooh, give me the heebies. <laughs> Reference, I'm standing on just water. And if you think about it hard enough, it's really creepy. The ship just broke through this ice and I'm just standing on ice. 10 out of 10, recommend coming on an icebreaker ship. Wow, what a fun trip. I think that was even better than I was expecting. Since we're in Sweden, I have to answer the age-old question that no one has probably ever wondered except for me. We have come to Ikea to answer the question. Are the meatballs better in Sweden than they are in the US? Cheers. Moment of truth. It tastes exactly the same. That's what I was gonna say. No, they're better. They have to be better. What is this spoon? For elves? Why is it so tiny? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they just taste better because we're in Sweden. I feel like they are better though. They're really good. Best part, it was $2.73 for this whole plate. That's incredible. It's a no surprise. It was very worth the stop. This hotel is made completely of ice and I'm gonna be spending the night here tonight. This is crazy. How are you? Good, just need to check in. Staying in the snow hotel. Yes. Nice. <laughs> I'm excited. This place is even cooler than I expected. There are 12 different suites inside the hotel. Each one of them has a different theme to it. This one I'm in right now, it's called the Tesla room, although I don't see anything Tesla related in here. There's also a mermaid room, a man and a frog. I don't even know what half this stuff is at this point. This is called the safari room. There are hippos sculpted out of ice, giraffes, some warriors. As cool as this is, I've saved the best for last, which is my room. Dun 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 dun. Oh, wait. No, it's not this one. This was my original room and I thought it was a little creepy. So they actually moved me to a much better room. This is a worm themed room. Like who wants to sleep next to a worm sculpture? 
This is my room, the dinosaur room. Look at how incredible that is. I'd much rather have a gigantic T-Rex staring at me while I sleep than a worm. Look at the details in that ice sculpture. Just incredible. And that is my bed for the night. There are just these random ice sculptures all throughout the hotel, like this massive chessboard. And yes, the rooms are cool, but it gets even better. There is a full ice restaurant, an ice bar, everything made of ice. This is the dessert plate. Yeah. After you finish your dessert, you just take a bite out of the plate too. Yeah, you can eat the plate also. <laughs> and we got the music going too. <laughs> I love it. You can actually sit down at one of these tables and have a dinner. They give you a reindeer fur to sit on. Just next to these incredibly beautiful ice sculptures. I might have to come here later. Ooh. One cool thing about this ice bar is the way they build it. They blow up a gigantic balloon and then they take a hose and every single day they put more water on the balloon. The ice gets thicker and thicker and then when it's finally at the thickness it needs to be, they deflate the balloon and take it out. Zero to ready, four weeks. One week to make snow, and three weeks is the building time, including all the art and everything. They make a giant mold and then just start packing snow on top of it. And after four weeks, everything is frozen enough to use. For all the ice sculptures, they actually cut the ice out of a nearby lake and bring it over in blocks, like these ones right behind me. They cut out about two to 300 of these, and each of them weigh 2,000 kilos each. The more I learn about this place, the more mind blown I am. There's even an ice chapel here. They do about 10 weddings a year here. And the best part of this chapel, if they need to make it bigger to accommodate more people, all they do is knock a wall down, build it up to be bigger to accommodate more guests. Although I don't know if I'd recommend getting married here. I think it'd be easy to get cold feet. Gotcha. There's tons more to see here, but I'm starting to get a little cold. My guide said there's a warm toilet here that we can come to when we need a break. That's nice. Just to make the day even better, we just stepped outside. It started snowing, this light, beautiful, powdery snow. This is just such a fun experience. Since we're in Finland, of course there is a sauna here. It's separated by male and female. And it's open from 10 to 11 at night. We actually had a trip planned to this hotel a few years ago, but had to cancel it when the pandemic hit. I have wanted to come here for so long. I'm so excited to finally be here. The reason I'm just by myself, Lennon and Chloe decided to stay in the hotel in town just so Lennon wouldn't freeze to death tonight. I honestly thought this was just a hotel. I didn't know there were so many activities to do here. My guide said I had to try this. Apparently it's some sort of Finnish sport. Feels kind of like a dog sled, but you're doing all the work yourself. This is actually really fun. No way. So this is a frozen lake I'm on right now. I don't think I just caused this, but that is a little sketchy. Look at that crack. I think that's enough of that. I'm gonna go with something a little more safe. There's a sledding hill over here. I do have dinner reservations soon, but I've come into the main reception lobby area to heat up real quickly. And I probably should just stay inside so I don't hurt myself anymore. They have fresh hot berry juice with cookies. These lingon berries grow naturally all over Finland here. And this juice is so good. There are two reindeer over here and a bag of moss, which is their favorite food. There you go. I saw a reindeer for the first time yesterday. Went on a little sleigh ride with one. I love these animals. They're just so adorable. Why does this one only have one antler? They gave me a choice to have dinner at the ice restaurant or at this restaurant with an open fire in the middle of it. That was an easy decision. Now I actually wanted to eat at the ice restaurant, but I'm gonna be in the ice hotel all night freezing. So I figured this is a good time to come heat up beforehand. 
The way the dining works here, the dinner is not included with the price of the room, and it's a set menu. You have a three course meal, and the food honestly sounds amazing. I'm excited to try it. I think this meal cost 59 euros, so it's not cheap. Let's see if it's worth it. There are actually three main courses you can choose from. I chose the fire grilled salmon. It's actually cooking on this fire right now. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at that. All right, the first course is here. We have some freshly made carrot soup with creme fraiche and crispy onions on top. Packed with flavor. The crispy onions just mix so well with that. They just pulled the salmon directly off the fire and plated it immediately. It is steaming. The skin is crispy. It's super moist. It's served with a little lemon dill sauce. This whole trip is worth it for that salmon right there. Ending the night with a piece of delicious looking blueberry cheesecake and tea served in the coolest mug ever. Delicious meal. Wow, that food was fantastic. Okay, there is one more thing I want to do before going to bed. Mm, two more things. Thank you. First up, I have to try a drink out of this glass made of ice. I don't even drink, but they have mocktails here. Strawberry and Sprite. It's like six euros for that much liquid. <laughs> Then, when you're finished with it, you take a bite out of it. And then, smash it. <laughs> Woo -hoo! There are two types of saunas here, a public sauna and a private sauna. The public one, anyone can use, and the private you have to pay for and book separately. The public one is not working, so they gave me my own private sauna for free. There's the shower here, and then here is the sauna. The traditional Finnish way, where you dump the water onto the rock. My feet are numb. Oh, it feels so good. Here's a fun little sauna fact for the day. There are 5.5 million people in Finland and approximately 2 million saunas. Pretty impressive. I'm so glad I did that. I feel like that'll keep my core body temperature up throughout the night and hopefully I'll stay warmer than I would have. But now I am very ready for bed. I'm exhausted. There is a locker room here to store your stuff in. So they give each person staying overnight a locker. So I have my backpack here that I'm storing here. Then when you're ready for bed, you come and grab one sleeping bag, one sleeping bag liner. I had a whole demonstration on how to sleep from my guide. Gotcha. <laughs> but this is made from this temperature, so. <laughs> He taught me the best way to stay warm throughout the night. And then he said, these are emergency beds. If you get too cold during the night, you can come and sleep here. They say it stays at a pretty consistent negative five degrees Celsius in here at all times. So it could be warmer or colder than the outside in here, depending on what the outside weather is like. Oh. I thought the bed was made out of ice, but just the frame is made out of ice and then there's a mattress on top of it. Look at this, there's even outlets to charge stuff. I'm supposed to take my jacket off and only be in long johns. He said otherwise I'll get too hot and sweaty. Apparently these sleeping bags are very, very good. All right, I am all bundled up. It's actually very cozy in here. I'm warm right now, but I think it's still from the sauna. I hope I stay this warm and hopefully see you at 1 a.m. And this is how we turn the lights off. Ugh. 
this bed is like a solid eight out of 10. It's really comfortable. Although I did get very, very cold. I had to put on another layer. All in all, slept pretty well. Probably understated how cold it was in that room. <laughs> I woke up probably three or four times just shivering. Couldn't get warm. So after I put on another layer and just buried myself in the sleeping bag, I was totally fine. But if you do come here, bring a face cover. That was what got coldest on me. But honestly, I slept better than I thought I was going to once I was warmer. I've just come over to the main restaurant for breakfast. They have a nice selection of both hot foods and cold foods. And that was just such a fun experience. Everyone needs to try that at least once in their lifetime. I'll leave a link in the description to book this place. That was for sure one of the best experiences I've ever had in my life. Not all popular places live up to their high expectations. Lapland, however, completely exceeded them. From the moment we arrived, I was blown away. It's magical, it's beautiful, fun, and makes you feel like a kid again. I hope everyone gets to experience this place once in their lifetime. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next week.